Hello and thank you for tuning in to Pilot Savvy YouTube video. My name is Chris, owner of Pilot Savvy. In this video we're going to discuss the importance of sound in flight simulators. So every simulator, uh, one of the, one of the uh, important aspects is the sound output, the sound of the aircraft. Can you imagine if there wasn't any sound? Like here in the background you hear the engine noise of this uh, diamond aircraft. I'm going to hit pause and imagine if there was no sound, just the sound of my voice and this plane and the movement and no sound. So that's the receiving sound. And um, so what you want is ideally is the sound of the aircraft and which, which is what you heard uh, before I paused it. So one of the other important aspects is the output, what you're hearing from me going through the mic. Now that is very, uh, destroy my mouse, that's very important um, because especially when you're talking to uh, controllers through a network such as um, Pilot Edge where there's live controllers and you actually get to use the communication equipment to um, talk to them. So here you have the uh, COM panel. Uh, uh, com, navcom uh, audio so that's very important so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, manage those uh, initially starting out I have as I do now a number of different audio sources so I'm going to hit a key here so two things that manage the sound one is windows that sets the stage for the rest and then you control the sound through uh, X-Plane as well. So this is a diamond aircraft on X-Plane flight sound. So X-Plane 11. But uh, X-Plane 11 and 12 both manage the sound same, sound the same way. So let's let's start with Windows. So if Windows is not Windows is not set up properly, you're not gonna you're not gonna uh, get uh, ideal sound results. So let's let's before I get there let's talk about the sound sources that I have what I have is a display on the side it has it's a TV uh, uh, not a smart TV but it's a, t uh, a TV display um, this is a, my main monitor is a TV display um, my my PC is has some sound uh, uh, functions built in so that's at least three, plus the headset that I'm wearing, the Logitech headset, it has the um, audio going through the headset and you're able to, see, to see it, hear it through the uh, application that I'm using to record. And then the microphone, there's the mic here and you can plug a mic into my PC and you can plug a mic into the two other sources mentioned, the displays. So. <clears throat> There's a number of options. So you want you want the sound coming out where you want. So when you first start up your computer, I already have uh, X Plane running, but I'm going to hit this button here, and you go to. Uh, yep, yeah, you can see it there. Great. All right. So you go to the sound, and I'm actually going to right click on it and then I'm gonna to go to uh, open sound settings and we have some options here so this is the sound output let me move it over here so that it's out of the way of me so you have the uh, sound output there's a drop down menu to choose your output um, let me see if I can okay that's not making a difference on that so drop down menu so the default that I have set okay is the, the output optical real tech high resolution that is not what I was expecting headset speakers logitech that's what I want right there. So the sound should be set to the Logitech USB headset. That's what I'm wearing. And that's where I was hearing the sound. 
Then I'm going to scroll down here to the input. Okay, that is set correct. I think I inadvertently changed it when I, when I brought it up uh, initially. So the uh, microphone Logitech USB headset, that's for the uh, input sound. That's this mic right here. And so that allows me to communicate through the system through my mic. Now I want to go back up here and check this output again. Make sure you have speaker Logitech USB headset. All right, not sure what happened there before. And uh, on here, there's no save. You just make that selection. Now, here's the test. Test your microphone. And we can see. Testing, testing, testing. You can see right here that um, the sound is working. Uh, the microphone is working. And uh, we know that the uh, speakers are working because we heard them. And I'm going to move this here. Uh, I think right about there is good. All right. So we are done with the sound there. And I close out of here. Now, there's uh, a couple of more places that you want to check the sound. In x 11. There's a sound setting, and this is especially important when you're talking to live ATC like uh, Pilot Edge that I mentioned earlier. So you go up here to settings in the upper right corner, the, um, and you go to sound. And what you want to look out for when, if you're talking to live ATC is you want to have your radios about there this is good I already preset this and don't have copilot connected that is just a full blast by default that doesn't really matter so I'm not going to mess with it um, aircraft interior noise the that would be the buttons and knobs like if I let me flip a switch here okay it's not gonna do it here but let me I'm gonna go done just so I can demonstrate okay that's not behaving properly. Okay. Oh, I know why. Dead battery, maybe? No. Nope. Not sure why. Um, so that's something I have had this on all day doing different, different configurations. So it may just need a restart. So I am not going to restart it right now. But uh, that's the noises. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, pause, duh, I paused it. Okay, there we go. Um, silly me, I paused it earlier as part of the demo to you. So now, here we go, I'm going to flip a switch and you can hear the switch. So that's the cockpit noise, part of the uh, cockpit noise. I did. I'm flipping switches to cause that to happen. And um, one that you can maybe see. Here we go. You can hear that click if you listen real, real carefully. You can, you can see the switches here. The switches here. You can see, and you can hear them. So I'm gonna go. Text the light on, text light off. You hear that click, and you can see the switch turn on and off. So that's and you can see them. All right. So anyway, so that's those noises. So let me go back, and I'm gonna go. Okay, we already uh back to sound. So this is set where I would want it to. There's the master volume. I keep that all the way up and uh, manage the other the aircraft interior, air, interior aircraft exterior. Uh, let, me, let me crank the aircraft exterior down low and see the difference that it makes. So I'm going to go down. Okay, yeah, down a little bit, little ways. It it does seem a little lower to me. I want to put it back up where it was 
aircraft exterior. I want to put that right back up where it was. About there. I don't want a full blast. Uh, top priority on the sim is uh, the, the radio. Go down. Okay. Right there is good. Alright. So that's the second place. So you saw the first place we controlled it through the uh, Windows environment and you have control through the X-Plane environment. Now there's one more thing. I mentioned twice about the uh, Pilot Edge and talking to live controllers. If you talk to live controllers, um, in order for to talk to them through the headset, um, you have to tell it. So I'm going plugins and I'm going um, Let's see, where's Pilot Edge? Pilot Edge. I'm not going to connect. Uh, we're just going to go Preferences. And you see Preferences. Uh, preferences, it shows the Logitech USB headset. Um, I think that you can see that. Let me move this over just a little bit. So you see, for audio input, it shows the. Um, audio input shows the Logitech USB headset. Remember earlier we selected that um, as the uh, default for Windows. And there it is there again. Now there's this is micro microphone 3 USB audio. The, um, if this doesn't work switch this up but this is the one in brackets this is the one that we set in windows sometimes you may have to switch things around for them to work properly but this is a usb headset this does not say usb headset the stranger things have happened if one doesn't work switch the other now this is what pilot edge is uh is um going to listen to when you're talking to them and this is the sound when they transmit to you so this is the output, so this is the audio input. It's going to come in through my headset. And when I'm talking to them, it's going to come in through the, uh, there it is, uh, the speakers, Logitech USB headset. So that's what they're going to, um, they're going to talk to me on. All right. So I'm just going to go OK here. And that is about what you need to know about audio so i hope that this proves helpful um, initially when i was setting all this up some time ago it was uh, kind of hit and miss especially when you when changes it seems like whenever there's a change takes play take place and you go back to the flight sim that audio may be scrambled that's why it shows you the entire path from windows to explain and to pilot edge so that you can get everything working and um, and not have a lot of downtime so I hope this was helpful to you um, if you like it give me a thumbs up um, make a comment on uh, your thoughts of this uh, if you want to see something else added in a follow-up video I'll, I can do that for you and um, if you want to get notified of uh, additional videos that are published, just go ahead and subscribe as well. Now, thank you for tuning in to Apollo Salvi. And until next time, you have a good one.